Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this cinematic landscape animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so for this animation, I'm going to use this illustration and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. So I downloaded this from Freepik and I'll put a link in the description from where if you want, you can get it. And after that, first you have to do some settings in Illustrator before you import it in After Effects. So let me just quickly show you. So all you have to do is just simply make sure all the elements are on a single layer. And for example, you have these scenes. So first I'm going to select the selection tool. And now you can see that we have these layers and these are on individual layer over here and we have to merge them into a single. So let me show you how to do that. First, we don't need these birds. So I'm going to quickly select all of these three and let's just delete them. Now I'm going to quickly hide this first layer and you can see that it's already on its own layer and we can probably hide this for now. Now I'm going to select the selection tool which is already selected. Now you can select one of these layers then hold down the shift key and you can select all the layers that you think are on the same level so you can see that this this and these plants all these can be on a same layer and you can see that all these are highlighted over here so let me just quickly select them and let's move them close to each other after that we can select all of these layers and let's go over here and you can select this option collecting new layer now if i disable this you can see that all of these are on a single layer which is exactly what we want now let's do the same thing for other layers as well so let me just quickly hide this and now I'm going to select this and these small trees over here as well. So just hold down the shift key and just keep on clicking them and it will highlight all of these layers. Now you can see that they are over here and I can just simply select all of these. Then again, go over here and collecting new layer. Now you can see that we have this on a single layer and all the other elements are already in a single layer, something like this. So we are going to leave them as it is. Now, before we import this, we have to just quickly arrange the layers. So this one will go over here and let's take all of these layers out of the group, something like this. Now we can select the object and let's select this option. And from here we can select release to sequence layer. Now you can see we have all these different layers. Now let's move them out of this object and we can probably delete the object as well. So this is the basic structure that you need in order to have this animation working. So after that, you can save the file as an illustrator. So go to save and just click on save. Click on OK. And now you can see that now the file has saved and you are ready to import it in After Effects. So here's the file that I'm going to import in After Effects. So just simply select it and drag it inside the After Effects and it will ask you this just click on ok now if i open this comp you can see that we have all the individual layers over here now the first thing that we are going to do is just create a new camera so right click new camera just click on ok it will give you error just click on ok after that just right click and let's create a null object as well and let's make all of these layers 3d something like this then we can probably select the camera and let's parent it to the null so that we can control the camera using the null object now we are going to quickly align all of these layers in 3D space. So in order to do that, I'm going to change my view from one to two view. And over here, you can see we have all of these layers over here as well. And this is our camera. So first I'm going to select the background. So which is this layer and I'm going to select it. And you can see that it's showing me the Z space. And I'm going to just simply drag it to a very far location. Let's move it somewhere around here, something like this. Now you can see that it's pretty small in the viewport. So we can press S and let's scale this up until it fits the complete scene, something like this. We can probably move it a little bit more further because we have a bunch of different layers. So again, let's scale this up. So we have to do the same thing with all of these layers. So we have this layer, which is this mountain, I think. Yeah, it is the mountain layer. So we are not going to do it now. So I'm going to select this layer. So this is the sun. So I'm going to probably select this and let's move it somewhere close to our background. After that, let's scale this up. Press S and let's scale this up. Something like this. You can also select this and let's move it up in the Y space. Something like this. Now let's select the second layer. And again, let's do the same thing. So this is the cloud and let's move it somewhere around here after that press s 
And let me just quickly scale this up. Something like this. And let's move this up as well. Just like that. And just keep on doing this with all these layers. So there you go. Now you can see that we have arranged all these layers in the 3D space. So let me just quickly switch back to the one view and I can select the camera tool and we can zoom out. And now you can see that all these layers are in 3D space, something like this. So we can easily animate them. So let me just quickly reset the camera by pressing Ctrl Z. Now you can see that if I select the null object, I can easily animate it. So let me just select this, press P for position. And now if I move the null object, you can see that we have this really nice parallax between the layers, which is exactly what we want. So we can start animating them. So let's move to somewhere around here. Let's add a keyframe for the position and let's go to the beginning. And I'm going to quickly zoom in using the C space, something like this. And also I'm going to move its position to the up something like this. And now you can see that we are able to see the black background, which is because our background is not scaled enough. So either we can just simply select this and let's scale it quite a bit. Something like this, select the null object and we can continue moving it something like this. So now if I play back, you can see we have this sort of animation. Let me just quickly select all the layers and press F9 to ease them or you can right click keyframe assistant and ease. After that, let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph. Let's select this endpoint and let's move it to somewhere around here. Now, if I play back here, you can see we have this really nice cinematic kind of reveal and we can do a couple of more things. We can just add a little bit of movement in the X axis, something like this. So it will add uh, more parallax to the motion just like that. Now there are a couple of more things that you can do. If you want, you can animate all of these layers individually as well so that they have some secondary animation in them. So for example, I can select the clouds and I can press P for position and I can animate them in the background. So let me just quickly move them somewhere around here. Let's select them, press F9. And we can do the same thing in the graph for these as well. So now you can see we have some secondary animation in the clouds as well. So we can do the same thing in the white clouds as well. So again, press P. Let's add a keyframe. Let's move it to over here. And in the beginning, we can just move them to different direction, something like this. Then press F9 and let's change the graph. So now if I play back, there you go. Now you can see we have little bit of secondary animation in the background as well. So in the same way, you can animate all of these layers individually. And at last we can add our text. So let's select the text tool and just click wherever you want. After that, you can type whatever you want. Let me type motion nations. So I think yellow colors is looking fine. So I'm going to quickly align this and let's select this and make this 3D as well. And now if you move around, you can see that we have this very nice cinematic movement along with our text as well. So we can probably select this and let's scale this up. And I'm going to quickly move this somewhere around here. And let's add a little bit of position animation over here as well. So we can just move it a little bit, something like this. Let's select the keyframes F9 and do the same thing. So now if I play back, here you can see we have this really amazing cinematic kind of animation. And in the same way, you can animate any of the scenes. You can add whatever text you want. You can also add some birds into the scene. So if you want to create some animated birds, you can check out this tutorial of mine. I'll put a link in the description below. So this is how you can create these kind of animation. And the project file for this is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to exclusive templates and tutorial project files like this. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.